Hello, I want to tell you some real stories that happened with me while I was meeting some clients, restaurants, and shops, mainly restaurants, restaurants, I mean owners and restaurant managers here in England. And maybe from these stories, you will take some uh, advice or a lesson. First story is about a small restaurant, fast food restaurant that has only one branch. And it was launched soon, maybe in the past two three months. And uh, I met him asking about the platform he has for the online company. So he told me, yes, I have a website. I have for sure. has a website and then I asked him obviously what is the website and it's a domain uh, so I can check it out and he told me I don't know what is the domain and he tried to find it and he didn't find it then he told me it is on the, uh, on the web if you search for the restaurant so I tried to search and I told him it's, it's obviously, obviously will not appear because the website of the restaurant is very new and uh, Google will not find it. Anyway, we try, he tried hard to find the domain and he didn't find it. At the end, he showed me some messages coming from his company uh, on uh, WhatsApp and he told me this is a website. By the time he was showing me like something like a video and photos coming from the website. So when I saw these photos and videos, I told him these are not the website, they, these are something coming from the developer to show you that you have this website. So he took some pictures and videos for it. Anyway, I found at the end the domain and I told him this is the domain. And uh, you have to put it somewhere on your, or everywhere, on your social media pages and on your Google map uh, location and everywhere, every presence that you have on your uh, packaging. And then I asked him also about the price or the fees that he's paying for this website. The website is not uh, very well done, it's not user friendly, but it's okay, it can be used. And I know many restaurants here doesn't care about the, they don't care about the layout. They maybe care about only orders and I understand this. So he told me they are not taking anything from the company. No, no way, no way. So then I asked him about the cost, the fees he's paying for this platform or website or whatever. He told me I am not paying anything. I paid at the beginning a few hundred of dollars and then they launched the platform maybe 200, 300, whatever. And then once they launched it, I, I am not paying anything. I told him it's not possible. This is not possible. Obviously you're paying something. So after the discussion, he told me, yeah, yeah, I, I'm paying only a percentage, 10% uh, on each order. Okay, that's fine. So I asked him, are you, uh, like, are you aware? How much you're paying monthly for these orders, even though they are coming from you or from your pages or directly from your customers? He told me no, it should be fine because if I don't get uh, a lot of orders, I don't pay a lot. And so, what is the lesson here? Obviously, we can take many lessons. The first one is once you don't know anything about the technology, about web, internet, websites, links, mobile apps. You have to ask someone who's professional to guide you to this, what to take, what to buy, which website is uh, a good website for you, uh, how to get your domain and save it somewhere, how to use it, how to publish it on all your platforms. Second thing, I was offering a platform which is way 
user friendly and easy to use and uh, it has a lot of benefits way better than the other one that the Hyundai has and it has also mobile application the cost is very very reasonable so and it's a fixed monthly uh, fee per, per month the monthly fee is around 100 pounds so when I told him that he told me no no it's very hard but I made some quick calculation and I told him if you get like for example 10 orders per day and each order the average is like 15 pounds you will be paying 1.5 per order or maybe more so you'll be paying 15 pounds per day so at the end of the month you'll be paying a higher amount so what is the biggest lesson here for me from my point of view any business, a restaurant, or shop, or any company that doesn't have any knowledge in like, social media, websites, uh, technology, mobile app, which is fine, it's not, they are expert in something else, and so they have to hire someone, or to ask someone who's expert in this, to guide them where to go, what to use, how much they should pay, everything around them. The same as you are, for example, taking an advice in any other field like finance or the legal sector, if you have a case, you can do it by yourself. So be aware that there are a lot of companies trying to sell anything with the lowest possible cost at the beginning but later on you have to be aware that they are taking a lot of charges commissions and hidden fees and the visibility that they are offering is almost nothing here you have to do everything if you are not aware you will be only losing money